guys, we are about to start our Passion and Penny Pincher Freezier Friday menu planning made easy week 12. We are going to make five meals and about, plus a dessert. I'm hoping it'll take me less than 30 minutes. I don't know. It's been kind of a crazy morning. If you are new here, y'all, you can click the link in the video right now when you order today. If you order today, you can get our box plus an extra set of the baby cards, which includes 12 weeks of amazing recipes. You're gonna love them, they're fantastic. How many of y'all are ready to get started? I'm gonna try not to be nervous. I'm excited, but I always get nervous when I have on. So today, when you get your box, it includes 12 weeks of, slow, of freezer cards, um, including a grocery list that is dry erasable that you can use over and over and over again forever and ever. I do wanna make sure you know that on the back of each tab, it gives you your tips for freezer menu prepping. So I did this last night ahead of time and made it super easy. As you're hopping on, hi Shelly, hi Neantha, hi Sally. Can y'all hit the share this button and let a friend know and we will pick three winners to get a $25 Amazon gift card who hit the share this button. And then tell me how many of y'all are actually doing this with me. We are gonna make this morning, we're making buffalo chicken wings, grilled chicken kebabs, shrimp fajitas, chicken broccoli and potato bake. Um, let me see what else. Slow cooker pepper steak and Money Buddy Chex Mix. Who's ready? Are y'all ready? Let's do this. Good morning, Jan. Hi, Linda. So glad to see you. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get started here so that we don't take y'all forever because otherwise I'll chit chat with y'all too long and you know how that goes. We're gonna start right here with the buffalo chicken wings. I like starting with an easy recipes. In fact, if you look, I'm doing easy to hardest so that I'm not as stressed as I get started. So let's get started with the buffalo chicken wings, which are so simple. All you're gonna do is you need four pounds of chicken wings, um, and then you're gonna add in a cup, which I had a measuring cup here and it's already missing. Here we go. You need a cup of buffalo wing sauce. I suggest mild because I don't like real spicy stuff. If you like spicy stuff and your family loves some spice, then go for something spicier than this one. And I love that because I used up the rest of that bottle, so that is fantastic. Um, we're gonna add a couple of that in. Next, we are gonna add in six tablespoons of honey. And I will give you a quick tip. When you are spraying honey, honey gets really sticky. So I spray my tablespoon with a little bit of cooking spray so that I can get it out real fast because otherwise I'll be sitting here all day measuring honey out and I don't really wanna do that. So one. My honey is not moving this morning. It's stuck in the bottle. I should have turned the bottle upside down before we started. Y'all, it's going to take it a second. Three. It's real slow today. Four. Five. <laughs> this is honey is not in any hurry to move things along here. There we go. One more six tablespoons of honey. And what's great about this one is this is one you can grill, you could do it in your oven if you wanna just bake them in the oven. You could broil them, you could um, saute them. Well, I probably wouldn't saute chicken wings. I would probably, I'll probably either grill them or I might bake them in the oven if it's too cold outside. So this is a great one to do. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and Here's our bag. Are y'all ready? Tell me if you're having on new. If you are new and haven't seen this before, I would love to hear that. You're gonna also add in two tablespoons of butter. And that's it. So there's my recipe right there. Let me make sure I got it all. Chicken wings. Four pounds chicken wings, one cup mild buffalo wing sauce, two tablespoons butter, six tablespoons of honey. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of put it in here. I like giving it a good little mush around, so I'm gonna mush it a wee bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it in a second bag. And the reason I do that is it just makes it easier for me to make sure it doesn't um, get freezer burnt. Now the one thing I will tell you, remember if you order your freezer meals today, if you're interested in them, you're gonna love them, they're fantastic. Um, if you're interested in them, when you order, you'll get your baby card. Your baby card goes inside of your freezer bag so that you can real fast and easy um, know exactly what to make on day of cooking. Because, in case you don't have extra ones, I like reusing them. They are not reusable because I'm worried about food contamination, so we couldn't make them sturdy enough to reuse forever and ever. So I just pop mine in a little plastic bag, um, and then I'll reuse those. Okay, one meal done. I have some honey on my hands, so I'm gonna go wash my hands super fast, and then we'll come back to make the slow cooker 
pepper steak. If you have never done freezer meals before, I cannot say enough good things about, trying to keep my table organized this morning, about we're getting a little bit done ahead of time. It makes it so much easier. I do love these freezer bag stands. We are sold out of them right now, but we'll have them back in stock soon. And I love them because they make these kind of jobs so much easier. So I've got my freezer bag stand going and we are gonna do the slow cooker pepper stick. These are tons of fresh food. I already went ahead and I've got a three pound shoulder roast. I'm gonna add in one large onion, one large green pepper, one large red pepper. So we'll do that first. I don't have my freezer bag open enough, y'all. Can you see this? You're new for the Friday meals. I'm so glad you're here, BB. Is it BB? Reba, Reba, sorry. I was looking upside down and I couldn't see you well. I'm glad you're here this morning. Y'all tell me where you're from and tell me if you are making freezer cooker meals with me this morning. I would love it if you are. It just makes your life a little bit easier. It saves you so much money on eating out, which is obviously a huge passion of mine. Um, so I love that we save money, we eat well. You're gonna add in a cup of water. Let me see what else is on my list. Four cloves of garlic and that's it. This one cooks in the slow cooker and you can serve it with rice or mashed potatoes. It calls for four cloves, so I'm just gonna give it a nice little squeeze right there. I may do a little bit more because I like me some garlic. That's it, dinner is done. You guys, how simple was that one? And I love, like I said, these are just great fresh food. You don't have to put a bunch of preservatives in. They're just real food that your family can eat. If you have a lot of dietary special needs, these may not be the best meals for you. They're not made for that. Um, but if you just need to feed a family of a bunch of people and want to make life easy and you're eating out too much, or if you're like us and it's hard to even eat out right now because kind of life is crazy, um, this is just a great way to make meals at home and have a little less stress and eat really yummy food. So I'm going to take my baby card and I'm going to pop it in here from Arizona. You are learning. I'm tickled you're here. Sharon, good morning. Patty in Washington State. So glad to see you. Okay, two meals done. So far, y'all, we're doing pretty good. I'm on a mission to stay organized as I go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my meal over here. And I am so excited about this third meal that I can't even tell you. I'm gonna try to put everything in the same place after each one so that I don't get myself completely confused. I am excited about this meal, you guys, right here. This one is the one I am itching to try. It is the shrimp fajitas. Now, last night when I did my chopping, I kind of made my life easy because we're gonna eat this one for dinner tonight. What you're gonna do is I've got in here fresh cilantro. I wish y'all could smell it. How many of y'all love cilantro? If you love cilantro, this is a yummy one. Then you've got, I've got orange peppers as well as some onions. So all of that is already mixed in here. Now I'm gonna mix up my marinade. Oh y'all, it smells like I'm going to a fancy Mexican restaurant and it is happening in my house tonight. I am happy about this one. What we're gonna do, and move this over is we're gonna add in we've got a quarter cup of olive oil so I'm gonna just pour this into here so I'm gonna make sure I just do a quarter cup I'm gonna do four cloves of garlic I'm gonna use the rest of this garlic basically hang on y'all let's give it a good there we go. I want to get out all that garlic because I love garlic, especially in recipes like this. I think that's the rest of my garlic. Okay, use up that. Then I'm going to get a tablespoon. I need one tablespoon of lime juice. Let's use that to stir that up with one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. This is a half tablespoon, so I'm gonna use two of these. Y'all, I am excited about this recipe. So there we go. Now, if you're, it, <coughs> oh, that Creole seasoning. <coughs> you guys, that is no joke. I'm gonna get, get a glass of water. Holy cow. <coughs> oh my goodness. Y'all, have you ever smelled something? Good gravy. I smelled something and it just went. I'm going to be careful and keep this away from myself. You're going to take half of this marinade mixture and you're going to add it 
here and I promise I'm not gonna hopefully die. Holy cow. I'm gonna give it a good stir. Now, if I was making this in a freezer bag, I'm making this for dinner tonight. <coughs> if I don't choke on the Creole seasoning. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting it in here and I'm gonna save this marinade until tonight. If you were doing this in a freezer bag, this would be one freezer bag and then you would put this, what's left over remaining of it into a small freezer bag. I'm not even gonna do that because I'm gonna eat it tonight, so I'm not even gonna waste a bag. I don't wanna waste any plastic, I don't have to. Then what you wanna do is you're gonna actually pack this inside your third freezer bag. You'll just put it in. So if I was, let me show you how I would make this if I was. For those of you who are making this for the first time and haven't done freezer meals, let me give you a quick tip. If I was doing that, what I would do is I would pack this in one bag, inside the bag, you wouldn't even have to nestle I would put this in, this in a separate bag, and that in a small bag. And then you'll make the recipe when it's time to make it. Does that make sense? Three bags, one big bag, everything will be together. Put your freezer meal in. Like I said, I'm making this for dinner tonight, so I'm not gonna fool with the extra bags because I'm just super happy to have this one then. Okay, so there's that one. Meal number four is, Y'all ready? How are we doing here on time? Okay, grilled chicken kebabs. Y'all, I kind of botched the grilled chicken kebabs last night because I didn't read the directions well. Read the directions well and don't do what I did. Um, they call, hang on, I gotta get y'all closer. You can't see this, can you? Come on over here, ladies, and any guys that are crazy enough to hang out here. This recipe calls for chopped onions that you put on a big skewer. I, it actually says, the word that it uses is cubed. I was not thinking and I diced them instead of cubed them. They should be the big chunks you can put on a kebab. I decided because it's cold outside and we'll be using them this month that I'm actually gonna saute this on my stove top and make it as a stir fry. So I'm not gonna do the kebab part at all just to make my life easier. If you want, the, normally what you do is string this all on kebabs and good to go and then put them in a plastic bag and then you could grill them on the grill, it would be amazing. I'm just making my life easy tonight because today, because that's what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is I'm adding, I've got a three, three pounds boneless, skinless chicken breasts cubed. Then I'm gonna add in my red and green peppers. I'm gonna add in my diced onion, which should have been cubed. Y'all, if you're making this on a kebab, you're just gonna skewer all this, okay? So you can just skewer this ahead of time. I'm being easy because I'm giving myself some grace today. So then what you're gonna add is, half a cup of Italian seasoning. Oh, and I didn't, hang on, I wanna give this a good shake. Hang on, okay. Half a cup of that, half a cup Italian dressing, a quarter cup of low sodium soy sauce, half a cup of Worcestershire sauce, which this is gonna be every bit that I have. I just realized I'm almost out. I think I may have more in the pantry if I need it. Nope, that's perfect. Um, and then all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour that over top. And like I said, I'm gonna just make this kind of like a marinade for stir fry, which will work great. It will be yummy, yummy if you can grill it, but we live in Ohio, it's really cold here. So I don't think we'll be doing that. Hang on just a second. Okay. Now, I'd like to make it a little bit flatter, so I'm gonna kinda like, they're easier to freeze if they go flatter. So here we go. Flattening this one out. Hope I didn't just lose any of that. I think I can get a little more air out of that. And now we're gonna do this bag. I'm gonna add in my Bob's bag. If you are interested in these meal plans, y'all, they are so good. They are the best freezer meals. They come in a little box. You don't have to print them or do anything. It comes with all the information, all the grocery lists. It's, um, it's fantastic. If you have them, I'd love to hear if you've enjoyed them. Y'all, how yummy does that look? I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. There's all my directions for the week. We are on week three is done. I'm going to scooch all this down here. Throw there. Yeah, we're so good. Now we're to, over here, put this in the 
this over here. I'm gonna stay on track, y'all, with my stuff because otherwise I get kind of crazy. Okay, week. How many do we have done? That's four. Okay, we're chopping now, girls. We got some serious chopping to do on this last round. This is the chicken and broccoli potato bake. So, what we're gonna do with this one is I've got two foil pans. This is actually gonna make double. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna chop up my fresh broccoli. I will confess to you that I use Instacart for this delivery. I probably would not have bought, I absolutely would not have bought this kind of broccoli, but this is what they brought me and we will eat it just fine. <laughs> but that's the only downside to when you use Instacart is sometimes they don't do, um, they don't bring you exactly what you want always. So this was a little bit different than what I would have picked. I would have picked broccoli florets normally. And sorry, my phone is dinging like crazy this morning. I've got my sister-in-laws are texting me. Okay. There we go, we're gonna go through that. And then I'm gonna chop up my potatoes. Now, um, because I know potatoes take a good bit of time, I'm not gonna cut them super small because I bought super small potatoes, but I will. I do wanna get them a little smaller than what they were. So I'm just gonna chop these suckers up and then they'll bake a lot faster. Y'all know chicken cooks so fast. Potatoes take forever to cook, so the smallest size potatoes you can get, the nice, these are just nice small red potatoes and that way they will cook up faster because otherwise you're gonna have uncooked potatoes to go with it. Okay, as I'm sitting here chopping, y'all tell me, where are you from? Are you making these? It looks like, yes, it looks like a broccolini to me too. I think you're right. Um, broccolini is good. I think it'll taste yummy. I can't look at your comments too much because I might lose a finger here. That would be terrible. You need to get some nice knives. These are the Cuisine Art knives. They're like $14.99 on Amazon or Macy's all the time. Um, they were, have worked for me great and they're way cheaper than fancy knives. So yeah, try these out because they're fantastic. Hey in Louisiana, hi in Shelly in Dayton, Ohio. We are just a little ways up the road from you. Okay, so if you have made these recipes before, which has been your favorite freezer meal? My kids' absolute favorite one that they would eat every day is the pesto tortellini bake. I believe it's week one. If you have not made the pesto tortellini bake, y'all, it is so yummy. Okay, I think that's actually gonna be enough potatoes and then I'm gonna save the rest of the potatoes. I may actually make the rest of the potatoes to have with dinner tonight. That's a perfect number and this is a lot of potatoes for these meals. Actually, that's the perfect, okay, that's it. I'm gonna save these to make with dinner tonight because they were a little more than I needed. There we go, now I've got two pans. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna get my directions first. I also have some onion and some bacon. Can't mess up onion and bacon. What I'm gonna do is grease these two pans. I should be using an eight by, a size eight pan. I should use a eight by eight pan. However, I don't have an eight, eight by eight pan. This is what I had. And I actually heard that these can be a little bit liquidy. So I think the bigger pan may actually be perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and grease these suckers. You could also do these in glass. Um, if you do them in glass, just make sure to thaw them before putting them in your oven or you'll have a mess. Now I'm gonna layer half the potatoes. In the pans. What I love about this is I'm actually getting two meals. And because my pan is a little bigger, it's almost gonna be more like a sheet pan meal. And then I'm gonna take, I've got four cups of diced boneless skinless chicken. And so I'm gonna split that between these pans. my chicken that I went ahead and cubed last night for myself to make it easy. And then what I'm gonna do is, kind of move this around so that my chicken's not all in one place. And you could just do one big pan of it, but like I said, I want to do it a little bit smaller. 
Then I'm going to add in my fresh broccoli. We're bro this definitely looks like broccolini, so I'll take that. This is going to be so yummy. I'm so excited about this one. And then I'm going to add my onion. some bacon y'all how many of you guys wish you were sitting here with this one make this one it is so good it is a little liquidy and then I need my daughter just came down from virtual school so she's helping a little bit um we need now it says bacon onion followed by one cup cheddar cheese per pan I'm gonna actually, and then it says to do salt, pepper, and garlic. So I'm gonna do that first. So I'm gonna do a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of garlic powder. How much garlic powder does it say? It doesn't say. A little bit, and now I'm gonna do my cheese. I'm gonna do one cup of cheese on each pan. And I'm just kind of guessing here. Now, you're probably wondering what's gonna keep those potatoes from getting yuck yucky. So here's what's gonna fix the potatoes. We are gonna take one cup of heavy cream, okay? We're half and half, I'm using half and half. Um, and we're just gonna pour this over top. I'm gonna make sure I'm doing this right. Yep, I'm gonna pour each one cup over the whole, over both. It says one cup, so I'm gonna do this right. Um, so I'm gonna do half a cup here. I'm actually gonna shake this up real fast just to make sure we're good. I feel like it's kind of thin. So I'm gonna shake it up and do a half a cup on this one. And y'all just go real slow right here so that everything gets covered. And then we'll do one more half cup over here. And then we have just finished, y'all, six meals in no time at all. I'm gonna cover this with foil. And then you can either write on them. I'm gonna use the baby card and I'll just tape that on here to say what it is. And then when I pull it out, easy peasy, dinner is done. I don't have to stress over making a meal. Yummy, easy, fresh food. I just love it. So here we go. How many of y'all? So we just did, who's ready? How many do you think we did? We did one, two, three. Four, five. In about 30 minutes, we got five, and then we got six meals because I have tonight's dinner. And done in about 30 minutes. Y'all, how fun is that? We will be doing this one Friday a month, always on the first Friday, typically, of the month. Um, how many of y'all would like to stick around and let's go ahead and do the Money Buddy Checks Mix? Y'all want to do Money Buddy Checks Mix? I told myself I would see how we were doing to see if we wanted to do it or not. So y'all give me a heart if you want to do the Money Daddy Checks Mix. Give me a like if you don't. And I'm gonna pile these up over here so I've got some space to do that. Do y'all wanna make the Money Buddy Checks Mix? Yours is too, forgot the butter. I forgot the butter. I knew I forgot something. Thank you, two tablespoons of butter chopped. I'll go back and do that at the end. I'm glad you said that. Hi from Tennessee, make the, okay, let's go ahead and make the Money Buddy Checks Mix, since I have most of the ingredients pulled together, we might as well. Let me clean my space real fast so I can kind of get my act together over here. Y'all, the honey spilled all over my kitchen counter over there, so I may, let me just wipe it down really fast, even though it's going to be such a mess. Ugh, what a mess. Yeah, I've got myself a nice mess of honey over here on my countertop. Oh, that's going to be fun to clean up. I'm going to clean that one up later. Because otherwise, we'll be here all day long. Okay, so the Muddy Buddy Chex Mix is my family's favorite. 
and we'll have it this weekend for dessert. You made the Chex Mix with white chocolate so good. I love hearing that. So I have all my stuff together. So since I have it together and y'all want to hang out, we'll go ahead and do it. But I'm gonna have to read the directions because even though I've made it a million times, I have a hard time remembering what I'm doing. So let's see what we need to do here. We need pour cereal in a large bowl. I can do that. This is one box of rice Chex Mix. You could use corn Chex Mix as well. And then we're gonna add in there we go. We're gonna, let me just say that again because my son just called. He's calling from college. We haven't talked in a couple days. I texted him this morning and said, Jackson, I haven't talked to you in a few days. Are you alive? We usually talk probably every other day. So how often do y'all talk to your kids who are at college? We talk every other day, which I think is pretty good for a boy. Um, anyways, pour cereal on the bed. Melt chocolate chips. There's our chocolate chips. half stick of butter and a half cup of peanut butter. You love it with Crispix? Ooh, that sounds good. It's the best with Crispix. How have I never tried that? Yay, you and your daughter talk every day. I know. If you have a girl, you probably talk more often. Every other day is great, I think, for us. And even if we go to two to three days, I'm not upset and he's not upset. We're both crazy busy, but I do like keeping up with him and he's fun. He and I are a lot alike, so it's fun to chat. I need a half a cup of peanut butter, so I'm gonna grab this. And I think this is gonna be right at a half a cup of peanut butter, so I'm almost not even gonna, I'm gonna, y'all, I'm gonna be wild and crazy and just guess this is right at a half a cup because I don't wanna mess up another dish because my dishwasher is currently running. So there we go. Okay, I'm gonna melt this in the microwave. While that's melting, melt chocolate chips, peanut butter, pour chocolate over the cereal. Okay, then what we're gonna do is get our bag ready with our bag stand. You talk to your daughter daily. Okay, so yeah, let me know. If you have a boy, how often do you talk to them? Because apparently girls, I bet you do talk to girls every day. But boys, you talk every day? Your sweet doggy made an appearance. We have a set time every week that you talk to your college son. I don't think boys talk every day. If I could get him, I mean, every, Two to three days is awesome, and I'm thrilled with that. I'm gonna clean this up. These are all my dishes that I have to pick up now that I'm finished over here. It's really not too bad a mess considering all the food I just made. Um, we're gonna wait for that to stir up. I'm probably gonna give my dog the rest of this peanut butter. He's gonna be super happy. I'll show you all the freezer meals. You made some of the Christmas fun. You have three boys and lucky to get once a week conversation. It is hard with boys. They're just different than girls, I think. Don't y'all think? Okay, let's see if this melts down. Oh, that's perfect. I actually got it a little bit too melty. Ooh, I got it way too melty. Okay. This is probably the most I've ever melted this. Okay, that extra peanut butter may have been a little bit more, but I think it's actually gonna be super yummy. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour the chocolate mixture over, stirring this until it's well coated. If, how many of you guys, give me a heart if you have tried our freezer meals box or any of our meals. We did, did y'all hear we just got back in stock the slow cookers yesterday? So slow cooker boxes got back in stock yesterday. We're about to sell out of summer next. Summer series will be gone pretty soon. Um, have y'all tried these menu plans and have they been magic for you? I feel like they've been magic for us and I love them. Like I will never do menu planning another way. And you know what? I'm actually probably not even gonna put these in a plastic bag because we're gonna eat it up today. I'm probably just gonna do it all in here. You think you said a half a stick of butter and then melted the whole stick. Is it a half a stick of butter? I think it's a half a cup of butter. It's a half a cup of butter. Sorry, it is a half a cup, which is a stick. Yeah, I was okay on that. I think I maybe had a little extra peanut butter. I think I maybe was a little over on the peanut butter, but I think we're still good to go. And I also think I normally don't melt it quite that long, but I think that actually maybe worked better because it's easier to get it to move around. So, definitely magical. Your son calls you even though he's next door. Game changer. Aren't they a game changer? Like, I don't even know why. For those of you who don't know, summit, get. For those of you who don't know, hang on, I'm gonna get my 
have chill. Yes. Go. Go to your place. Summit, go to your place. Sorry, y'all. We are having some. Our dog has been mostly pretty good, but sometimes he's like any of us and would like to eat all this yummy food. So, when I thought about the menu planning idea, I honestly went to Barnes & Noble one night, and I was just hanging out, and I saw a beautiful recipe box, kind of like this one. And I was like, I had made menu plans with amazing other menu planning sites that were all digital. They were only digital, they didn't send you anything. And I loved menu planning, but I hated, because I had done them with you guys and I like knew how hard it was, I hated having to pull out my phone to make dinner. I just wanted to get dinner done. And so um, I didn't wanna to have to have apps hollering at me as I made dinner. I work on the computer all day. I am sick of dinner by the time I finish up. All I wanted was dinner done. So when I was standing there and I saw this pretty tin, I was like, what? I actually had a friend who makes beautiful Bible journal cards and her cards were the ones that kind of inspired me. I was like, what if we made beautiful cards that felt like Kim's cards, which Kim from Not Consumed Ministries is amazing. I was like, what if we used her kind of card and made recipe cards that you guys could use and not have to sit there and open up a file? Cause I like, I love the idea of a menu plan. I know there are 9 million cookbooks out there that are fantastic. But what if we could create really yummy food? So we work really hard to make sure that our meals are, I feel like the best recipes out there. We have a freezer series, a low cal, I'm sorry, a slow cooker series and a summer series. Next month in February, we will have our uh, low cal series. This summer we'll have the celebration series, which I just saw yesterday and they are gorgeous. Um, they include all of your holidays. So they're just super fun and cheerful. Um, and I just feel so lucky, like, I think because I use this stuff just like you guys, I'm not a big business, I'm not a, I'm just a mom like y'all, making dinner every night, and I, so I see the issues and the problems with companies, so I really want you to get these products and feel like you are loved and that somebody knows what they're doing. So, that's kind of how it started. I don't know why I told, told you that, but anyways, so excited, I am so excited for that. Y'all, I wish I could show you the celebration, but it'll make you so sad because it's not gonna get here anytime soon. So it's in the works, but finding a company to work with us to print these is not easy and getting the quality that I want. Cause I like you guys and I would be sad if you got something for me and said, oh, that was a piece of junk. And I know how hard you guys work for your money. Like I don't wanna take your money unless I can give you something really awesome. Because of that, it takes a really long time to get everything. I feel like I need some more powdered sugar. What do y'all think? That's about it though. More powdered sugar, y'all. So excited, Locale. It's a great story and something to be proud of. Shelly, it really was, and I mean, honest to goodness, it was truly just me standing in Barnes & Noble. So I am not like, it, it, yeah, I'm, yeah. I keep waiting for people to steal it. Y'all, please don't steal it. It'll make me sad. Um, Cause it's taken a lot of work, but it's so much work that I'm like, if anybody tried to do this again, it's way too much work. <laughs> This is a, like to make sure that all the recipes aren't messed up. If you have a digital product, you can send new files out. But if you have a physical product and you mess it up, you've got a bunch of unhappy customers. So anyways. Okay, y'all. There we go. All done. It looks good. Is that a Matilda Jane Platinum? No, it, this is a um, apron I got from Etsy and I love it. Okay, y'all. So you want to see all of it? You shake in a bag. I normally shake in a bag, but I don't want to waste another plastic bag because I'm feeling guilty over the amount of plastic. How much powdered sugar do you use? One and a half cups. Okay, so let's see. So we got, I'll show you guys everything we did. Click the link in the video if you're interested in trying out the freezer meals. I'm gonna eat this bite because I'm starving. I haven't had breakfast yet. So we did, hang on, it's gonna be messy. Okay, here's what we did, girls. How many, how many meals, tell me right now, how many meals did you do today? Anybody who did this with me, I wanna hear how many you did. There's one, two, dessert. three, four, five, and then I've got my one for tonight. Six meals done, 43 minutes. No, less than that, because I got on here late, so 35 minutes. I'm feeling like a rock star right now. What do you guys think? My problem is you need a bigger freezer. It does help. You've been watching for a while. I'm so glad you've watched for a while. Your dog is so cute. If you go shroom, I can name a show after Summit for sure. Low-cal meals, I'm so excited. Yen yet, yet, working at home today. Jennifer, enjoy your day working at home. Put yours in a freezer sack, I love that. Um, you're interested in trying, but you're dairy-free. I think you could 
How much dairy did we use this morning? The only dairy we used was the half and half for this. So you might be able to make them work for you. Um, I'm not sure they'll be perfect. So I don't want you to purchase them and be disappointed. Um, maybe try out one of the PDFs and see what you think. Five meals, you have the chicken, broccoli, potato, back. you're a rock star. Thank you, you love the freezer meals. Christy, I feel like a rock star this morning. Y'all are so sweet. You've been watching and just ordered. Tammy, you've been watching for a while and just ordered. Listen. I know how hard you guys work for your money. I know that this is not easy and it is a commitment. Don't order, there are a million great recipes online. So if you can do it online with digital ones, do that, it's better. Um, well, there is no other menu planning service that's as cheap as we are and we're the only one that's done it to you. So I think it will help. How do you keep the brown potatoes from browning? They shouldn't brown if you have them pretty well covered. Um, I probably need to add the butter so they're covered for sure. Watch but making chicken and rice for your boys today. You're new and just ordered the planner. I'm so excited. You just came up with two weeks for your family. I'm thrilled. Will the freezer meals work in the Instapot? They should. I don't know a lot about the Instapot, sorry. You could try, I need to try the reusable silicone bags. Thank you, great idea, Jess Nikki. You made 10 freezer meals this week. Yay, I love that. Give us a sneak peek. The sneak peek, the celebration pack, I actually just sent over to my friend, the, um, my creative dessert director, and she's gonna check them today. So I can't show you it, but you're gonna love it when it gets here. Okay, I'm gonna sit here and <laughs> I'm gonna eat some dinner and finish up for a bit today and listen to some music and clean my kitchen. Y'all have a beautiful, amazing day. I am so crazy thankful for you guys. Have a beautiful day and we will talk Monday morning. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye guys.